<laughs> Hello, it's Elisa here. So today, <laughs> today I want to talk about how I finally let go of my eating disorder. And I have talked about this many times that uh, to fully recover, you have to let go. Uh, let go of all of your eating disorder habits and let go of the thinking that you can maintain your weight or have it, having any desire to kind of hold on to the weight control thing and also holding on to any eating disorder behaviors. <laughs> like to fully recover, you simply need to let go and there is no other way. Yeah, you can't be fully recovered while you still have some type of eating disorder behaviors or habits. So yeah, uh, and actually I don't know how to do it or how it will work for everybody, but I guess like you have to tune into yourself and find uh, like your journey or find your road how to do it. But I just want to share my experience or my story how I uh, managed to let go of my eating disorder because uh, it's not like I started my recovery and then from the start I was so convinced now like this is what I have to do and it was so easy and there was no uh, ups and downs, there was no fear, like this is not how recovery is, of course I had fears, of course I had setbacks, even relapses, uh, yeah and I wasn't sure if this recovery thing is working for me. When I started my recovery I didn't have actually any idea how the recovery actually work uh, i didn't know about the like the exercising is part of my eating disorder i didn't even know about the extreme hunger but i kept on pushing and i kept on finding out all the right answers i guess that helped me to recover so how did i reach to the point when i was finally able to let go and I think this point was about maybe 10 months into my recovery and I my recovery took one year. So 10 months in, I think by that time I already did everything that I recommend you to do as well in your recovery. And if you, if you have read my book then you know everything I recommend. And by 10 months I was doing all of those things all the time. Uh, yeah, so I was kind of like ready and I didn't, uh, even though like mentally it was hard and I had some fear, but I just knew deep down that like nothing else works and I simply need to do all of the recovery things because they were like the only things that made any sense. And also by the 10 month mark, by that point, I was fully convinced that all dieting, all restriction, uh, depriving myself of the foods I crave or any uh, calorie compensation or things like that, it just won't work. I was like 100% convinced that I just, like even if I had some trigger to think that, oh, like maybe I would do something or like, you know, like, this uh, like the red flags of a relapse like even if I had them for one second I quickly I just knew that no like uh, step away and just continue with recovery and I was also like fully convinced that like my body is not maintained by dieting and restriction uh, and my body is maintained by like following my body and the intelligent system of my body and uh, stuff I explain in my book like how our metabolism and hormones and hunger cues and the set point weight like everything is working together to kind of maintain my weight and I don't have to maintain anything in fact if I try to maintain my weight I'm just gonna mess it up I'm gonna have an eating disorder so yeah by 10 month point or by 10 month mark uh, I was yeah I'm like repeating myself I was doing all of the recovery stuff and one other thing that was pretty cool I think uh, was that uh, my boyfriend 
got me like a birthday present like my birthday is in april so that year when i was recovering my boyfriend got this birthday present to do the parachute jump i think we waited until august to finally do the jump but what i am trying to say here is that even before i went to the jump i told myself that like okay this is gonna be like a pretty exciting moment maybe i can wait make like a wish or some kind of promise to myself when i'm gonna make the jump and yeah and i told myself that like when i'm gonna make the jump i want to make this wish or promise to myself that like now i'm gonna fully let go of my eating disorder and uh, i'm gonna just do whatever it takes to recover and now i'm ready to release my eating disorder and i'm gonna be fully recovered of course it was very scary and very exciting at the same time and i can actually insert a clip somewhere here as well uh, i was in the edge of the door and i remember i I was thinking like okay like now I have to make this wish because uh, recovering from my eating disorder at that, that point in my life was the biggest thing I wanted to achieve I just wanted it like so badly I was willing to do anything I just and also I was so convinced that I know now everything I need to know to recover and it's just like I'm so close I'm so close to my recovery and uh, yeah, and then I made the jump out of the plane and I told myself, of course it happened like in a matter of seconds, but I just told myself that I'm letting go of my eating disorder and I would be or I am now fully recovered. So for your recovery, like you have to make this like jump as well. And I'm not telling you that you need to go to do the parachute jump I did. Uh, and I didn't even plan like to do it uh, like this in order to like let go of my eating disorder but this is what I wished like metaphorically you need to make the jump and let go of your eating disorder but you're gonna have the parachute you're gonna be safe you have all the recovery tools you have maybe family or maybe you have your recovery team like packing you up and you have me as well with my videos that will like assure you over and over again that you will be fine everything will be fine your body will go back to balance uh, and yeah and you can be fully recovered but you need to let go and make the jump and just trust your parachute <laughs> basically so this is how i let go of my eating disorder and uh, after two months uh, after this jump and uh, telling myself that I am now letting go of my eating disorder I was fully recovered yes so yeah I think it's pretty cool and you can have this as well but you need to let go <laughs> you need to let go of your eating disorder like don't hold on to something that's so abusive that has never given you anything positive ever 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 the eating disorder doesn't give a fuck about you the eating disorder doesn't care about you so don't hold on to something that's so destructive to your life and that doesn't care about you and uh, if you let go you can have the lifetime of freedom from your eating disorder but you need to make the jump and you need to let it go and you need to trust you need to trust that it will be okay yes so this is what i wanted to say today and i hope it inspired you to let go of your eating disorder uh, maybe for you it's gonna happen in a different way uh, maybe you're gonna need something different uh, to let go of your eating disorder but this is kind of how i did it yeah so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more uh, future recovery related videos and also you can like this video and uh, yeah so thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye